Welcome back to another episode, guys. Just on uh, Lake Macquarie this morning, I've come out for a bit of a uh, slab mission. Just gonna try and get some flatties, get a bit of a feed happening. Um, done the Hawkesbury the other day, it was awesome. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. Get some really good fish in that. But uh, different sort of a mission today. So yeah, heading out for a bit of a feed. It's gonna be real windy today, pumping westerly, so we won't be doing a whole lot of uh, exploring or any other sort of fishing for that matter. But we'll give it a crack, see how we go. Hopefully get into a couple of uh, flatty fillers. All right, we're on a flatty. I don't go too hard in winter when it's cold, especially first thing in the morning. Beautiful. Alright guys, first fish, nice little flatty, good one for the esky to start out the session. Got him on the uh, dollar bait junkie there. There we go. We're on another flatty. Back that drag off straight away, hook's already in. So if he has got it down, he won't chomp through me leader. Doesn't feel too bad either, similar to the last one I think. Winds that cold's making me eyes water. I almost wasn't going to come, got up and I could hear the wind howl and <laughs> sort of went back in the shed and thought, oh, I don't know, but I came, so <laughs> hopefully the fish play. Another really good eater there. It's got that bait junkie right there, right down there. Another nice flatty, he'll, uh, he'll do nicely. Working a treat, that little lure at the moment. Just that little bait junkie still. You can feel the wind getting even stronger already. It's only been here half an hour. So I went about 15 minutes without a bite. So I motored across and I started doing a drift and I picked one up straight away. Which is useful. Another 
nice flatty. Still the same um, combo, same jig head, same lure, same everything. That's it there. Just a dollar bait junkie. It's getting a bit flogged up now around the jig head. Another nice flatty, another good eater. It'll go in the esky as well. Good bite. That was a good bite. Super productive first hour here. We're hour and ten. Another flatty. Hey, going off a bit early there. <laughs> Thinking, oh yeah, I'll just rip him straight in. Oh, he's off. So strong, I wasn't 100% sure. Missed it, and then yeah, he's back on again, which is good. Figured as much, the old chopper. So he sort of struck on the way down, I'd say, and then missed him then, but once I hopped it, he was back on. legal tailor you can go in there as well right our guys gonna shoot back to the boat ramp now clean these flatties up and head home that'll do for the uh, fishing part of this video i only wanted to come out for a couple of hours in the morning get a feed beat the wind and get home uh, when i get home i'm gonna uh, do a second part of this video i'm gonna run through some uh, lure colors i like to use when i'm out there just fishing in general and dewy fishing so if you want to see that stick around until then i'll see you next time on the water So uh, on the table, I've got a selection of lures I like to use. And I just want to show you a couple of things about those lures that seem to work for me and probably why I always seem to go back to those lures. Uh, it doesn't matter what sort of fishing it is, whether it be dew fishing, bass fishing, brim fishing, things like that. I just uh, definitely have more success on certain types of lures. So that's what they look like there, these plastics. Um, I'll just switch the light off and show you what they look like under UV light. So all those different plastics there I had, that's what they look like under UV light. So there's not, uh, it's not just a coincidence why those colors seem to work the best for me. So that's what they look like just in normal light. And yeah, you see what they look like with the uh, UV lights, it's just completely different. They all tend to uh, glow up, you know, that bright chartreuse color, which as you know, is probably one of my favorite colors. So as you can see there as well, on that little tray of hard body lures and some vibes, same thing there's some there that light up a lot more than others and some that just stay kind of clear 
but the ones that are for me that are most effective are definitely those ones that light up bright. All right, so that's that um, pile of lures there that I just showed you. I just brought them out into the shed so it's a bit better lighting without the reflection. And that's them there. So you've seen the difference between those lures there when they were lit up with the UV light as opposed to normal light. I like those brighter sort of colours. They seem to work better for me. I don't know what you guys think. I mean, whatever works and catches fish, there's no right or wrong in fishing, just catching fish or, or not catching fish really. But I tend to find that those colours that light up with that UV light work really well for me on dewfish, bass, brim, flatties, everything. I don't know whether it's because when it gets down a bit deeper, maybe they stand out a little bit better. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I just know that they work good and they catch good for me. I prefer running like a lot heavier jig head. I mean, half ounce is probably the lightest I'll run dewy fishing. I like that lure banging into the bottom hard. Uh, the fish will pick it up through their lateral line. So the more commotion and the more noise that puts off the better. I prefer to run probably five eighth at least. Uh, most places I'm running heavy. Uh, anywhere between a four and five inch plastic's good. But I prefer vibes in the lake. They just work better if they catch more fish in there. It's just a better lure for that type of fishing. But anywhere where there's heaps of snag structure and that, oh, it's a lot cheaper to use plastic. So a lot of times I'll just go to that so I can uh, try and save myself a bit of money and a bit of us <laughs> less stress anyway, losing those vibes all the time. I think I've done three vibes in the first hour at the Hawkesbury, changed over to a plastic. I got that flatty on our vibe and one of the good brim, but... I, um, I eventually just went over the plastic because I was sick of losing them. And uh, the plastic came through anyway, as the vibe would have, but I just didn't want to lose any more vibe. So that's what I think anyway. I prefer to fish heavy. I like those colours. They work for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think colour-wise and weight-wise. Uh, give me your opinion. It'd be good to hear it. Mix up a few uh, ideas. Anyway, guys, that's it for the part of the segment. Uh, let me know in the comments anyway what uh, your favourite colours are and what weights you like to run. And... Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the next trip I'll do. We'll see what happens, but I'll uh, get the camera on, guys, and I'll take you out there with me, and we'll see if we can catch a few fish. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.